Hello and a warm welcome to Sharad Chandra IAS Academy, where our dreams are our mission. This is Yatharth here. Today we'll be resuming from where we had left in the last lecture. That means on the fifth question, I'll just give you a view. So fifth question was about the president's rule and uh, things in going on in Delhi. Now we come to the mapping portion. So the question is the recent incident involving the Chinese Coast Guard and Filipino vessels. So this is just a con context. It highlights ongoing territorial dispute in the South China Sea. Now question is about the South China Sea. So where is this sea located? All right. So in south of the China, essentially coming from the name itself, this is a part of the Pacific Ocean. All right. It's divided into various regional oceans. Let's say Indian Ocean here. In tomorrow's lecture, we'll be reading about the Indian Ocean as well. Okay. So considering the geography of the region, which of the following statement are likely correct? So one is the Paracel Island, claimed by China and several other Southeast Asian nations, are located closer to Vietnamese mainland compared to the Spartley Island. So here we must be familiar with both the geographical information, whether they are Spartley or Paracel, all right, where these are. Furthermore, it says both the Paracel and Spartley Island are chains of volcanic origin, while the Scarborough Shoal is a coral reef formation. All right, so we must know about this as well in order to solve this question. Kinmen Island, these were uh, recently in news. I took a lecture about them also. Okay, these were related to Taiwan and China. So, in the same news, we also dealt with the Agalega Island. And tomorrow, we'll be dealing with a new island also. Okay, so claimed by Taiwan and China, that means ROC and China, located in the northmost part of the South China Sea, near the East China Sea. So, is this correct or not correct? All right. And D is countries bordering the South China Sea have exclusive economic zones extending to the entire area, eliminating any overlapping claims. All right. So, this is not likely true. This is though completely incorrect. All right. So, let's see what is the source of this news. All right. Source of this news is here. Chinese Coast Guard tries to block Filipino vessels in South China Sea. So, again in news multiple reasons so this is the source and this is from the hindu newspaper all right and all of these questions whichever we have uh, solved till now question one to six these are all from the hindu and last week news from last week all right so this is how questions can be formed from the news all right so we uh, need don't need to read this news we can just come to the map of the south china sea all right so, what we see here, first of all, the China. The reference point is China. This is part of Asia. And this is all in east to India. All right. Whether it is Myanmar, this is India. Here we can see Arunachal. All right. All this part of India. We see Bhutan here also. Okay. So, this is Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam. So, we have a question related to Vietnam also, a statement related to Vietnam also. All right. And the sea that we are dealing with is this South China Sea. All right, this South China Sea. So what we see here, Paracel Island are located here. Okay, so remember the location in reference to China and Vietnam. Okay, other there are other island also. There are Spartley Island also. There is Scarborough Shoal also. We'll see where they are. All right, but remember these in context of the nearby countries. This can be asked as a question. So this is the question we are facing here. Okay, Brunei here, Malaysia, Singapore. And just remember all of these also. All right, which, have, which one is Vietnam, which is Cambodia, which is Thailand, uh, which is Laos. All right, let's move forward. So what we see, Parasal Island are located here. So near to Vietnam, then to China. All right, longer distance. Then this is Taiwan here. All right, Kinmen Island are located here near the China. Okay, this is Scarborough Shoal. And these are the Spartley Islands. Okay. So, this can be asked also that Spartley Islands are more in number than the parcels. All right, they are located close to Vietnam, then to China, even further closer. All right, respectively. So, these are the various different things that can be asked. Okay, this is the Matsu Island. Here you can see these are the Kinmen Island. And these are located near Taiwan, but very close to China, actually. All right, and they are claimed by the Taiwan. Claimed by Taiwan. All right. Let's see further. 
सो वट आर द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑल राइट वट इज द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट लेट्स सी सो पेरासाल आईलैंड क्लेम्ड बाय चाइना एंड सेवरल अदर दे आर क्लोजर टू द वियतनामीज मेन लैंड दिस इज करेक्ट ऑल राइट एंड कम्पेयर टू दिस पार्टली आईलैंड इस पार्टली आर इवन लोकेटेड फर्दर फार ओके ओके बोथ द पारासल एंड आईलीज पार्ट आर द चेन ऑफ वॉलकेनिक ऑरिजन वी डोंट नो अबाउट दिस वील रीड इन द सोर्स किनमेन एंड मातसू क्लेम्ड बाय ताइवान एंड चाइना आर लोकेटेड इन द नॉर्थन मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ साउथ चाइना सी दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑल राइट एंड दिस इज कम्प्लीटली इन करेक्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी एलिमिनेटेड दिस सॉरी so let's see so first one is correct the parasal island are generally closer to vietnam than the spartly island which are more scattered across the central and southern part of the south china sea so this is correct okay the geological composition of parasal and spartly island aligns with volcanic origins while the scarboro shoal is indeed a coral reef all right so this is also correct third kinmen and matsu they are located close to the uh, mainland china close to taiwan strait and east china sea this is also correct but fourth one is incorrect all right because multiple uh, countries are claiming multiple islands but we need to see that eez are typically extend 200 nautical miles from a country's coastline and with multiple claimants there is bound to be an overlap all right this is the main issue okay let's come to the seventh question now the great indian bustard okay there are multiple type of bustard in india all right so we are talking about the gib the great indian bustard it is one of the largest birds it cannot uh, it, it it can fly but uh, very let's say not at so much of the height so this is creating the main issue actually because the electric wires also go at the same height okay this height is the issue so facing habitat loss and other threats which of the following statement about the gib are correct so it is the state bird of rajasthan should we know about this we should and shares its habitat with the black buck antelope so there are two parts to this statement just a second there are two parts of the statement connected by and part 1 and part 2 we need to see both are correct or not so either both will be correct because black buck antelope is found in rajasthan so it can be the state bird of rajasthan as well all right or both will be incorrect let's say according to some elimination rules so this is most likely correct Although a large bird, it can fly long distances due to its hollow bones, similar to many migratory birds. Uh, this can be incorrect. All right, it has been classified as endangered in the IUCN. Just a second. Uh, it has been classified as endangered in the IUCN data book. This may not be correct. It is critically endangered. Okay, we need to remember the status of various species and birds. Furthermore, what we see the great Indian bustard scientific name refers to his black head. and crest which only male possesses okay this is also a very tricky statement we may not know so such questions can come into the exam and you may have no idea about them if you do not know about such special birds because a la at a long level at a large level conservation programs are being run for the gib okay so what is the source here source is this again a news from the hindu and you must have read this if you read the newspaper every day all right so source is again the hindu now i do not mean to say that all questions can or will come from the hindu all right some will come from the ie some may come from the let's say financial express all right business insider or whatever they it can be down to earth also it can be uh, ep also all right multiple sources can be there what i'm saying is if you know a bit about what is popular then you can clear the cutoff for prelims okay cutoff is only about 82 85 marks out of 200 marks all right so you just need to clear the cutoff so if you are even following one single source you can easily have enough knowledge all right so now we are talking about the bustard so supreme court on thursday constituted an expert committee and so on the large what is the important portion here the large winged birds are on the brink of extinction and one of the causes of frequent collision with the high power cables running adjacent to core habitats so what we are seeing this bird is its flight capacity is less flight capacity is less all right flows uh, flies only to a certain height and there it collides with the electric lines all right and dies okay so this is the main issue here So let's solve the question now. So first thing is it is the state bird of Rajasthan. Yes, all right. Shares with the uh, habitat with the black buck antelope. This is also correct. 
Now, what we see, while large, the GIB is not known for the long-distance migration. Its bones are likely denser for its ground-dwelling lifestyle. So, it is a ground-dweller. All right, read about the nature of the bird. What is its habitat? Okay. So, third is incorrect. It is critically endangered, not only endangered. All right. And now, you must also know about what is the criteria. That how many members of this species must be open in wild or alive to pose it in a critical endangered situation. All right. And when did, when do this become endangered? When does this become endangered and vulnerable, threatened or let's say commonly found or so on. Okay. The fourth thing is, it is correct. The common name is Artidiotis nigriceps, translated to black-headed heron bustard. Nigriceps refers to the black head crest typically seen in males. All right, let's come to the question number eight now. The Environment Ministry recently introduced amendments to the plastic waste management rules. Again, a very important question can be asked in prelims. All right, so which of the following statements are correct? The new rules define biodegradable plastics. Again and again, I told you whenever you see bio. In the last lecture, we talked about the biopesticide. Okay, here we are talking about the bioplastics. The question is expected on bio, something bio. All right. So, biopesticide and bioplastic I have covered in these two lectures only. Very important uh, uh, questions. So, plastic as a material that degrade completely. All right. We are talking about complete degradation and leaves no microplastic behind. Zero microplastic. So, extreme statement may or may not be true. Okay. Now, coming to the compostable plastics generally degrade faster. Then biodegradable plastics, but require specific industrial facilities. We cannot say that it's true or not true. All right, we don't know. The absence of a standardized test for microplastic and biodegradable plastic create uncertainty for manufacturers. This can be likely correct. All right. The fourth one, CPCB currently issues provisional certificates for biodegradable plastic showing at least 5% degradation within 45 days. So this is a rather factual statement when we come to this. All right, so may or may not be true. We need to read the news for this. So what is the source? Source is here. Ministry of Environment Titan rules on bioplastic. All right, so this rules can be read from this news. All right, what we can see uh, is the microplastic. This is the one that is creating pollution. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6. All right, so whatever plastic are, let's say, like this. So they cannot be recycled or trapped or filtered. So, they eventually go into the rivers and then to the oceans. And then there is a process known as the bioaccumulation. So, they go inside the bodies of both humans and animals. Animals and humans. And all of this plastic, whatever plastic is there, they are derived from fossil fuels. Okay, whatever plastic is there, it is essentially chemical. Just like any other thing on the planet, all right, its origin is man made and they are chemicals also. All right, please do not be confused about uh, the origin and the nature. Origin can be natural, all right, and everything that is natural is also a chemical, it's still a chemical. All right, all products are chemical, but this is a man made chemical. So, this hinders with the hormones as well as the natural biological processes in muscles, cells. Or, okay, so this causes pollution as well as health issues, microplastics. So let's come to the uh, this part now, source part now. So Environment Ministry has introduced rules that make it harder for makers of disposable plaster to label such products as biodegradable. Introducing a stipulation that they must not leave any microplastics behind. So statement one is correct. All right, biodegradable plastic and compostable plastic are projected as two broad kind of technological fixes to India's burgeoning problem of plastic waste pollution. Okay, so you can read this all in the PDF that I will send. Okay, I will not just uh, read out, but microplastics are one micrometer, 1000 of a millimeter. CPCB, uh, this is a fourth statement. So it has 90% degraded, not 5%. Okay, not in 45 days, but uh, at least in one, two years. Okay, so 5% in 45 days is not acceptable. Third thing is a new set of amendments. So uh, this uh, statement one we have already read. Okay, compostable plastics, these degrade faster but require industrial or large municipal waste management facilities to do so. Now coming to the explanation, first one is correct, obviously correct. Okay, 
so what has been done by the environment ministry they have defined that biodegradable plastic must do two things one complete degradation 100% degradation second no that means 0% microplastics two rules have been made second is correct third is correct fourth cpcb previously refused certificates okay so it has the fourth statement is incorrect let's come to the both three we know that they degrade faster yes correct absence of standardized test yes correct this is incorrect and this first one is correct all right okay let's move to the question number 9 Bikram Sarabhai Space Center VSSC developed a multi-purpose app called Sakhi for which upcoming uh, sorry for the upcoming Gaganyaan mission which is following statement is most likely correct for the Sakhi app so it is a communication and information sharing platform this can be correct exclusively for the mission scientists and engineers as Bikram Sarabhai Space Center correct or incorrect i don't know all right we'll see in the news developed by ISRO the Gaganyaan mission aims to send a single astronaut on a short orbital mission single astronaut we know that their team is team is going team has been selected so this is incorrect okay sakhi will assist astronaut with health monitoring communication and task management during the space flight can be correct okay the successful completion of gaganyaan will make india the first asian nation to achieve human space flight capacity can be incorrect china is further in the space program than us let us see what is the news news is here source again source is from the hindu okay read the newspaper very very importantly very very carefully what will happen that uh, you will in the in the exam you will realize okay i had read this news this was in the hindu all right this was in indian express i know about this but i cannot answer the question so if you are reading something read it carefully all right otherwise skip it so vikram sarabhai space center indian uh, isro they developed basically this sakhi app and you can read about this what is the explanation here so sakhi is designed for astronaut on board the gaganyaan spacecraft not mission scientist on the ground so we are not talking about the vssc vikram sarabhai space center we are talking about the astronaut on this spacecraft okay so first is incorrect second gaganyaan mission aims to send a crew of 3 so this we already know okay incorrect sakhi's functionality include health monitoring and task management this is correct and fourth china as we as i said so china already has human space plus capacity okay but this please know the successful gaganyaan mission would put india in an elite group with established programs such as us russia and china okay let's come to the last question now match list one tribal communities with second state according to their unique naming practices and choose the correct answer unique naming practice i have eliminated from the question okay just match the tribal communities so how many do we know already toda toda we have heard siddhi we have heard very famous korku and lisu okay lisu sounds like a northeastern name so we can uh, primarily take arunachal pradesh for this okay toda sounds like tamil nadu and uh, we have uh, two left one is the siddhi siddhi mostly found in maharashtra and gujarat and korku are mostly found in chatisgarh madhya pradesh okay let's talk about this let's see what is the answer so this is the source of the news children of lisu and singbo communities in arunachal pradesh so this gives the first answer to us okay this is the source from the hindu again okay this is about the naming practices in uh, prevalent in these region okay here i have attached a map where you can read about the tribal communities of all the uh, let's say state various different states okay there are multiple tribal communities in india they are very very important especially if you are from anthropology optional if your optional is anthropology then must okay there are multiple dafla meri singpo khamki here you can see in uh, maharashtra let's say bunjia dodia kalkari kathodi kokra all right multiple and uh, in the tamil nadu also we see the kota irula toda okay let's talk about the explanation so lisu tribe reside in the state of arunachal pradesh correct toda is found in the tamil nadu correct siddhi people reside primarily in maharashtra and karnataka all right they are also correct and korku Anyway, part of Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. So, correct answer is B. We have already done mark the correct answer, so we know. All right. So, what is the conclusion here from these ten uh, questions? That if the examiner wants, they can make questions as per their own level, whatever they want to do with the news. All right. And the source can also or always be the newspaper. Because newspaper is what nothing else. The news coming from the world. What is happening in the world? Okay. so the only way for us to know what is happening in the world is a news some sort of let's say youtube channel some sort of uh, uh, 
लेट सी न्यूज पेपर फिजिकल न्यूज पेपर डिजिटल कॉपी वॉट एवर सो प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ एंड देर आर टू थ्री टिप्स विच आई एम गिविंग वन इफ यू सी दिस वर्ल्ड एनी वेयर बायो ओके रीड अबाउट दैट न्यूज कंप्लीटली वेदर इट इज बायो डिग्रेडेबल वेदर इट इज बायो प्लास्टिक वेदर इट इज बायो पेस्टिसाइड वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन कैन बी कम ओके बायोचार anything question can come from this bio word and always it has come okay bio film question has come all right so always take care of this thing second thing is uh, whenever you are reading about a news read it completely and see what perspectives can be developed okay we have various different programs in sharachandra is academy okay on the telegram channel i'll be sharing this pdf also so you can always revise these questions i'll be bringing uh, further lectures on the river series now So we'll do it it in next video thank you very much this is Yathar Dev signing off keep studying and have a great day